I hope that you're dry firing like five to 15 minutes every day. Don't worry about dry firing for like three hours or something a day. Just do five to 15 minutes of intentional dry fire every day and you're gonna get a lot better. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're back with another edition of this kind of long running dry fire series that we've been working on here. Uh, and today is just a quick tip on dry firing your rifles, right? So hopefully you have a rifle and hopefully you're doing a lot of dry fire with it. Uh, one thing that I've found recently that's helpful is that when I'm practicing multiple shots uh, with my rifle, I've started locking my bolt to the rear uh, and just running it like that. Because, Grand thumb this with me here a little bit, uh, as you lock that bolt to the rear, you can get a little bit of trigger movement, right? And if you pull that trigger hard, I'm able to focus on multiple targets, right? So when I do target transitions, I wanna do dry fire, and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna hit this one over here, and I'm gonna swing to this one over here, I'm able to still work that trigger without the getting that click, and now I just kind of have a dead trigger. Now, if that's how you want to run it, and you want to get your click on that first one, and then run a dead trigger on the other ones, that's totally up to you, you do what you want. But I found it helpful for me to just lock the bolt to the rear, and then as I'm working on those target transitions, I have a more consistent trigger pull, uh, and it's just helpful. If you're intentionally pulling the trigger hard, if you're gonna intentionally pull that trigger hard with your bolt locked to the rear, that is really gonna simulate as best you can. Again, it's dry fire, right? Nothing's ever gonna be as good as live fire. But it's gonna really help simulate uh, having to manage that gun through recoil in that when you're pulling the trigger hard, that you gotta keep the gun steady so it's not moving about. Uh, and to simulate, again, that actual trigger break, right? Because you're probably looking at, depending on your rifle, whatever, maybe a five, six pound trigger pull. Again, just grand thumb this with me, right? So I'm looking at right, there, it's probably about five, six pounds. When we lock that bolt to the rear, what I'm looking at is just a little bit of movement, right? So it's a little bit more movement than when I actually pull the trigger, but I'm if I'm intentionally pulling that hard and fighting to keep the gun steady, it'll work as a dry fire technique. Try it out, hopefully it'll be helpful for you for when you're dry firing your rifle. Again, hope you're doing that every day. And it's gonna be better allow you to simulate multiple shots and or target transitions. Just a little thought for your dry fire routine. Do brave deeds and endure.